Mariah Carey has suffered a major loss as both her mother and sister have died on the same day. Allison says she's facing serious health issues. Singer Mariah Carey has shared some heartbreaking news this morning. Her mother, Patricia, and sister, Allison, both died on the same day over the weekend. Mariah Carey has always had the world wrapped around her finger, so it's no surprise that the heartbreaking news of her mother and sisters passing over the weekend is making headlines everywhere. I mean, how could it not? Losing one loved one is already unbearable, but losing two in a single day? The emotional weight of that kind of loss is unimaginable, and it's no wonder everyone's talking about it. In an unimaginable tragedy, Billboard has confirmed Mariah's mother, Patricia, and sister Allison have both died, passing away within hours of one another. Let's be real. Even when everyday people lose family members on the same day, it's a huge deal. Now picture that happening to someone like Mariah Carey, an A-list celebrity. The impact is bound to be on a whole other level, both heartbreaking and sensational all at once. Mariah Carey shared heartbreaking news in a recent statement saying her mother, Patricia, and sister Allison both passed away away on the same day over the weekend. My heart is broken that I've lost my mother this past weekend, Carrie expressed on Monday. Sadly, in a tragic turn of events, my sister lost her life on the same day. The singer said in a statement, my heart is broken that I've lost my mother this past weekend. Sadly, in a tragic turn of events, my sister lost her life on the same day. The Grammy winner, who spent precious moments with her mother just days before her passing, asked for privacy during this difficult time. She further added, I feel blessed that I was able to spend the last week with my mom before she passed. I appreciate everyone's love and support and respect for my privacy during this impossible time. According to the Times Union, Allison, who had been mostly estranged from Mariah Carey, passed away at 63 due to complications with her organ function while in hospice care. Carey didn't provide any additional details about what caused their death choosing to keep those personal moments close. However, she did share the moments of the complicated relationship she had with her sister and mother. While it doesn't matter any kind of relationship we have with our family, losing them leaves an irreparable mark on one's heart. Mariah's sister Allison knows that Mariah and Allison also share a strained and complex relationship. In her memoir, Mariah Carey opened up about being estranged from both her sister Allison and her brother Morgan, explaining that it felt emotionally and physically safer for me to not have any contact. Contact. Not just that, but Mariah also accused her sister of putting her into dangerous situations as a child. But the story takes an even darker turn, folks. In her book, Mariah opens up about her troubled relationship with Allison, describing her sister as deeply wounded, yet the most brilliant and broken person I have ever known. Mariah reveals that Allison had been exposed to things a child should never see, even before Mariah was born, and these early experiences left a lasting impact on her. I do know that what she experienced damaged and derailed her girlhood. Mariah Carey wrote about her sister Allison. She was fully aware when the family unit unraveled and our parents turned on each other. She absorbed the full pain of a family coming undone. Mariah also revealed that Allison struggled with addiction and even tried to involve her in that dark world when she was just a child. But it gets even more heartbreaking. According to Mariah, her sister went so far as to try and and exploit her for S.A. In her own words, Mariah shared, My sister me with Valium, offered me a pinky nail full of inflicted me with third-degree burns, and tried to sell me out to a pimp. After the book's release, Allison sued Mariah for $1.2 million, claiming the memoir caused her immense emotional distress and labeling it as vindictive. Already struggling with the unspeakable trauma of her childhood and having her own children abandon her, she has become severely depressed and uncharacteristically tearful since the publication of the defendant's book and now struggles after a long time clean with alcohol A, the document read. But Mariah wasn't the the only one to face this alone. The situation took a chilling turn when Mariah's sister Allison also detailed the horrific experiences she faced in a lawsuit against their mother. Allison claimed that, at the tender age of 10, she was coerced into having S with strangers. She also described witnessing disturbing satanic rituals, including the sacrifice of young people. By the altar, where there'd be live children, and sometimes uh, babies. Mariah and Allison Carey are sisters who live very different lives. Allison fell into drug addiction, a record of production, and a troubled lifestyle early on. She's also admittedly had a troubled life of addiction and a record of However, Mariah became a famous singer and married a wealthy man. Now their lives were clashing. Allison and their mother were fighting over who should care for Mariah's seven-year-old nephew. Mariah and Allison Carey are sisters 
but they live in very different worlds. Alice and Carrie descended into and despair very early in life. But Mariah Carey became a singing sensation and married a multimillionaire. In an exclusive interview, Allison shared how her love for the boy is causing family conflicts. She said, I'm damning myself more and more. I realize that when I leave here today, if I ever had a family, I don't have one anymore. I'm damning myself more and more. And I realize that, you know, when I walk out of here today, you know, if I ever did have a family, I don't have one anymore. Let's rewind to 1995. Allison did a series of interviews for a few different reasons, but one of the key things she discussed was her feelings about Mariah. She mentioned that Mariah had dedicated an album to her, but Allison saw this as a mere performative gesture, more about creating a public image of a loving sister than an actual reflection of their relationship. Much of Allison's press coverage has focused on criticizing Mariah. In that same 1995 interview, Allison revealed another painful chapter. Their mother, Patty, had taken Allison's child away from her. At that time, Allison was struggling and not in a position to provide proper care, which led to Patty stepping in to take over. Allison feels like an outsider, even before this interview. At 33, she's the older sister of Mariah Carey. Allison is torn between jealousy and love, feeling that Mariah has turned away from her when she needed her the most. I want to go on record as saying that I love my sister, Allison said. She's broken my heart so many times. She's just really broken my heart. I love my sister. And um, she's broken my heart so many times. She's just really broken my heart. Allison leaned heavily on Mariah during her darkest times, especially when her health was in dire straits. Despite this, Mariah has asserted that she supported Allison and her children with hundreds of thousands of dollars. After the interview aired, Mariah's rep said, through the years, Mariah has spent hundreds of thousands of dollars supporting Allison and her children. Mariah also had a heated feud with her older brother, Morgan. He's been vocal about Mariah's struggles, openly discussing her mental health issues and addiction. Regarding the situation, Morgan Morgan Carey explains that Mariah is someone who holds grudges. He said, Mariah is someone who holds grudges and is not empathetic or compassionate. She sees the world only through the filter of her own ego. And it's tragic. It's heartbreaking for Allison. Mariah is someone who holds grudges and is not empathetic, is not compassionate, and sees the world only through the filter of her own ego. And, it, and it's, it's tragic. Morgan's wife also commented on the matter, stating that it would never be a bad thing to help a dying sister. She also suggested that Mariah should visit her dying sister. I think that would never be uh, a bad thing to help your sister who's dying and go to visit your sister. Allison, a recovering addict, has been open about her struggles with HIV, which she contracted while working as a pro. She became pregnant at 15 and dropped out of high school shortly after. Turning to the streets and drugs for survival, Allison's life has been marked by hardship and self-destruction. I want to ask you about one of the more difficult things in your life. How did you get into Nobody wanted to hire me. I didn't have any experience doing anything. Many fans believe that Allison's life was troubled and unfulfilled, partly because she harmed her sister, a possible result of the deep traumas she faced throughout her life. However, it's no secret that Mariah is estranged from her older sister, Allison Carey, and the chances of mending their relationship seem slim. Allison had expressed a desire to reconcile, but the reality is that this seems unlikely. The rift between Mariah and her siblings dates back to childhood. Her older siblings, Allison and Morgan, believe that Mariah had an easier time growing up compared to them. Mariah, being the youngest, was born when her siblings were already adults, so by the time she was growing up, they were well into their own lives. Allison and Morgan feel that they suffered as children, especially after their parents split. While Mariah went to live with their mother, Allison and Morgan ended up with their father. This divide has left deep-seated resentments that still echo through their relationships today. My parents made me say I am an interracial child. Okay, we're just going to alienate you right there. My mother said, nothing like that will ever happen to Mariah. These family issues have been brewing for a long time, and Mariah is understandably distant from her siblings. Her frustration largely stems from the way Allison and Morgan have publicly criticized her over the years. Both Mariah's and Allison's comments depict that they didn't have a loving or close relationship with their mother. In Mariah's 2020 memoir, The Meaning of Mariah Carey, the five-time Grammy winner opened up about her complicated relationship with her mom, admitting it brought her so much pain and confusion. Like many aspects of my life, my journey with my mother has 
has been full of contradictions and competing realities. It's never been only black and white. It's been a whole rainbow of emotions. Our relationship is a prickly rope of pride, pain, shame, gratitude, jealousy, admiration, and disappointment. A complicated love tethers my heart to my mother's, Carrie wrote in the book. In continuation, she wrote, our relationship is a prickly rope of pride, pain, shame, gratitude, jealousy, admiration, and disappointment. A complicated love tethers my heart to my mother's. Patricia, Mariah's mother, wasn't just any parent, she was a Juilliard-trained opera singer who Mariah often credits as her early inspiration, shaping her love for music from a young age. I would sing little tunes around the house to my mother's delight, and she always encouraged me, she wrote in her 2020 memoir, The Meaning of Mariah Carey. Patricia, 87, was more than just Mariah Carey's mother. She was a former opera singer and vocal coach with deep Irish-American roots. Mariah revealed that competition had often driven a wedge between them. She said, professional jealousy comes with the territory of success, but when the person is your mother and the jealousy is revealed at such a tender age, it's particularly painful. Ups and downs, Mariah also expressed her enduring love for Patricia, writing in the dedication to Pat, my mother, who, through it all, I do believe actually did the best she could. I will love you the best I can, always. In a 2022 interview with Gail King, Mariah admitted that her mother's criticism deeply affected her growing up, yet she always credited Patricia with being the one who first exposed her to music. Patricia was born on February 15, 1937, in Virgin, Utah, but grew up in Springfield, Illinois. Her background was quite different from her siblings. With dark hair and eyes that were a mix of brown and green, she stood out in a family where everyone else had blue eyes. This made Patricia the dark one of the three children. Racism was unfortunately a part of Patricia's early life. Mariah recounts a particularly painful moment in her memoir, describing how Patricia was publicly shamed for sharing her mat with a black boy during nap time. Despite these challenges, Patricia became active in the civil rights movement. However, her relationship with a black man later brought turmoil to the Carey family. Mariah's memoir also touches on Patricia's love for music. Patricia first fell for classical music after hearing an aria on the radio, describing it as the most beautiful sound she had ever heard. This passion led her to move to New York City, where she won a scholarship to the prestigious Juilliard School of Music and performed with the New York City Opera, debuting at Lincoln Center. In 1977, she recorded the album To Start Again, featuring 13 tracks. In the late 1950s, Patricia met Alfred Carey and they married on February 20th, 1960 in Brooklyn. Their marriage faced immense racism, including violence and threats such as being shot at their home and having their pets poisoned. Interracial couples at that time faced unimaginable hardships. Patricia's own mother, Elizabeth Hickey, reportedly disowned her for marrying Alfred. Patricia even had to pretend to be single during family gatherings to avoid the stigma. She also stayed away from her hometown for many years. As as Mariah wrote, Patricia's marriage was seen as a complete humiliation and a high crime against her white heritage, punishable by excommunication. The couple moved frequently due to security concerns and continued to face racial discrimination, even after moving to a more prosperous neighborhood in New York. Despite their efforts, the ongoing issues in their relationship became too much to bear, and by 1973, just three years after Mariah was born, they separated and eventually divorced. Mariah's father, Alfred, passed away in 2002 at the age of 72 after a battle with cancer. Interracial marriages often face severe challenges, and many didn't survive. The children of such unions often bore the brunt of the trauma. Mariah and her siblings undoubtedly experienced their share of difficulties. Now, seeing Mariah struggling with her own family issues, it's clear that the pain from her past still lingers. Even though she never reconciled with her sister, it's understandable why she feels deeply about her sister's death. Family ties can be complex, but they remain strong regardless of the struggles faced. Widely regarded as one of the most successful artists in the world, Carrie's career has been nothing short of legendary. Her iconic holiday hit, All I Want for Christmas Is You, remains the best-selling Christmas song by a female artist ever. With a record 19 Billboard Hot 100 number one singles, the most by any solo artist, Mariah has has sold over 220 million records globally and even had a stint as a judge on American Idol. Just like her siblings, Mariah faced her own battles, but she found the strength to rise above them, while her sister Allison struggled to do the same. This difference in their paths created a rift and sparked jealousy between them. Navigating a traumatic family dynamic is one of life's toughest challenges, yet Mariah managed to survive and thrive despite it all.